Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. So, last time I was saying that I was thinking I was going to do some, uh... Brotherhood of Steel missions instead of the normal missions, and I have agreed with my past self. <laughs> Let's go back to the Cambridge Police Station and talk to Paladin Dance for the next section of this mission. Okay, let's head inside. Paladin Dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck? Sir, mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. <laughs> Finally, some good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Aelin, Reese, hey. it's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. Reese hates us. He shows a lot of promise. And with the proper guidance, I think he has oh, the potential of becoming one uh, of the best. Me. <laughs> this is like dumpy guy. Thanks. I promise I will not. Oh. Thanks. I promise I won't let you down. I promise not to let you down. You don't have to prove anything else to me. Getting that transmitter was enough. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hug the song and get it over with. I got, I got tired of wandering alone. Too bad. I was getting used to the thought of you leaving. Reese, that's enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to work together. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're mm. not soldiers of fortune. We're an army. And we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks, you need to obey our tenets without question. Okay. Um, don't worry, I've spent time don't in the worry. military. Don't worry, I've spent time in the military. Perfect. Then there's no need to give you a long lecture, so I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, mm -hmm. nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon. Yeah, I, I thought that's what... the first to know. Yeah. Thought that that's what be... Uh... Thought that's what would be coming uh, from that. Well, I night, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad victorium, knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad victorium means I knew to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount up. Yeah, because I'm trying to get through this without taking too long, I'm going to... Yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what... Let's see what the missions say. So yeah, Semper and Victor is to support the Brotherhood Recon Team. Um, but I can instead do Shadow of Steel, which is the the next section where I go with Paladin Dance to the Predwin. Uh, that's probably, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I like, well, I like Halen. Halen? Yeah, Halen. I know Reese is one of those people, he's like, he hates you at first, but then uh, he turns around once you help him out and stuff like that. But, I'm going for main mission stuff at this point. Ooh, gamma round. Ooh, stim packs. I can take their shit now because I'm part of them. <laughs> Sorry, Reese and uh, Halen. But I'm going straight to. Ooh. Oh, I keep forgetting this. You can just press play when you pick it up. Scribe Halen's personal log. Field Scribe Halen, personal log entry 324A. I'm starting to wonder if joining the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. Mm. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. This is why I never Despite usually that, side with I've him. I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. 
Yeah. Um, in the in Fallout 3, that one group of uh, Brotherhood of Steel decided that they were going to use better methods and they weren't just Brotherhood of Steel. You know, they Fallout 3 mis kind of misrepresented what the Brotherhood of Steel were uh, to make them like the good guys, to make them like the lawful good. Whereas in normal Fallout, including the original Fallouts that the Brotherhood of Steel came from, the Brotherhood of Steel were never lawful good. They were lawful neutral. They don't care about other people and their their plights and stuff like that. They think that what they're doing is the they think they're lawful good, I guess, but they're in the in the context of the greater world, they're actually lawful neutral. Yeah. Anyway, How about in dance? Are you ready to head up to the ship? Yes, please. Of course I am. I've never seen anything so impressive. Takes your breath away, doesn't it? <laughs> we call our ship uh, the Pridwin. Mm. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. I'm guessing that diplomacy isn't on Elder Maxon's mind. <laughs> Who's Elder Maxon? Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. Hmm. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Hmm. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Uh, we're gonna go into a freaking vertebrate, are we? Oh my god, we are. <laughs> awesome. I'm sorry, Dogbeard, I don't know if they're gonna have room for you on the on the on the um vertebrate. Yes, I got there before he did. <laughs> That's the trick with the doors in this game. If you don't want to get stuck waiting for the door to reset, you gotta get in there quickly before the NPC does. Because the NPC can just sort of warp through at their own pleasure. But you have to rely on the like little animation it does. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I've ridden in one of these in Fallout 4. What the? Oh, these vents have like air warping. <laughs> All right, let's let no, up. No, don't talk. Ride. I was gonna say, can I do that in third person? I don't think so. Oh, dog isn't here. Oh my god. Oh no, it wasn't sure the wasn't the vent, it was this. You start we don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. <laughs> yeah. So the Brotherhood of Steel do have humans in their concerns. They do want people to to be well off. The Commonwealth looks different from up here. <laughs> but they they're it lawful, never you know. To amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Yeah, this is the institute, Hopefully, basically. Our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. Hmm. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. We're getting shot at. I just don't know where from. That was the building we climbed, and that was the, like, balcony we stood out on. But they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Yeah, see, this is their... Th this Woman is the way they think. The child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population. Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty. God, and we're I constantly being shot at. my own blood if it ensures our victory. Yeah, these are areas I've not been yet. We're flying over parts of the map that are... Final approach. See, if I go open up my map... Like, we have we have not... Oh, no, we, we went out to the old... We went out to Good Neighbor. That's as far as out as we've been. Um, and the Green Tech Genetics. We're in an area, though, that I'm relatively unfamiliar with. To the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting yeah. Lancer Captain Kelvin the giant boat. Tech. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Yeah, this is cool. Where is it? Where's the Pridwin? There it is. 
<laughs> Man. Bridwin is amazing. It's one of those really, really cool things that was so unexpected. Like, I was not expecting it. I and I had no idea what it was at first, but then as soon as it starts talking, you know, as soon as the loudspeakers start going and it, they're talking, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, they mean fucking business. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder what happens if you do the Brotherhood of Steel. I wonder if it, what happens if you do Paladin Dance's missions before you, the Pridwin arrives. He must just say that he's waiting for their arrival, and then once they arrive, you can go back to him. You'll get the, like, mission update to go back to him. Is. It's been uh, far too long since I've been aboard. Yeah. Alright, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. <sighs> yeah. That's the thing, like, I, I mentioned at the start of the series, I, I decided with the Institute in my original, uh, playthrough. So... This is a very different experience. This is brand new to me. Doing this stuff. I didn't even... I didn't even finish Dance's mission. In my original game, I don't think. I did I did the mission where you go in and you have the, the engine that you fire and all that. But I didn't... I don't think I went back after that. I have a feeling when he asked me to join the Brotherhood of Steel, I was like... Nah. <laughs> Paladin Dance. Oh. There's Lancer, Captain. Oh, can I get off this yeah. thing now? Follow me. How do I get off this thing? There we are. I think I just pressed E at the, at the just as he was going in front of me, so I it wanted to he did the talking instead of the permission to come aboard, sir. <laughs> permission granted. Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our <laughs> new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. My dog just You'll be them pleased around. to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my corridors. Yeah. You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Yeah, I already knew what Ad Victorium meant because I've heard there's the term Ad so, Infinitum. You're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. <laughs> um, I think, I think I've already proven you that you're wrong, or looks, can be, looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. Mm. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. <laughs> the Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Um, absolutely. absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have all any right. questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Okay, attend Elder Maxon's address. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, <laughs> the change he'd in still the voice. be a small group of complacent Sound. stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to <laughs> us all. keeps changing. Is there anything else? <laughs> it keeps, um... Jumping to like a different session, different recording session, and therefore a different quality of voice. I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Alright. Uh, yeah, so it implies that this is the same Brotherhood of Steel that comes from the Capital Wasteland. So they're the same Brotherhood of Steel that come from the Fallout 3 Brotherhood of Steel. But I have trouble believing that because... The Elder, I forget what the Elder's name in, in number three is, but he had this vision, or he had a change in heart to do with the way that their operation should run. They shouldn't just be, like, trying to get tech and information. Maxon's address is being held on the command deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading up. Welcome aboard. <laughs> He's a knight. Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Yeah, I've been requested to be upgraded to a knight, so one with power armor, you know. Um... <laughs> but yeah, the, the original team in number three, they had 
decided that they were going to do what they could to make the world a better place or whatever. They, were, they changed their vision from being straight up, like, murder all the monsters and gather all the tech to make the place good for citizens and be helpful for restoring humanity. Brothers and sisters, this is a, like a warped version of that. And fraught with difficulty, each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressive... Dog meat's listening to him too. ...without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. Oh. There is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. Mm. A robotic this whole game is about technology synths. that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Hmm. All right. Ad Victorium. Oh. Ad Victorium. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't know what the protocol is about having dogs on the Pridwin, so I'll just pretend I didn't see this. <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. <laughs> That's freaking fantastic. Yeah, so this whole game is about synths and wither. It's like a, it's got a mini, like a flavoring, a, a sprinkling of like Detroit become human in it, or, you know, any story that's a narrative that's along those lines. All about the idea of so I think it comes from the fact that in Fallout 3, one of the people's favorite mission, I always hear people talk about, when, they, when people talk about their like favorite missions from Fallout 3, one of the ones that always comes up is the one where a senior a senior scientist from the Institute, a thing that you hadn't even heard of before, uh, is in the Capital Wasteland looking for someone. And it turns out that he's looking for a specific, I think you know, he, I think he might just tell you outright, that he's looking for a synthetic human that, he, that they'd developed. Uh, the synthetic human had run away and they were trying to reclaim it. And then the mission becomes, like, who is the synth? Because the synth doesn't know that they're a synth. The synth thinks that they're a human. So how do you find a synth amongst a bunch of humans? He's in like a city. He's in this little city uh, that's like on a boat. <laughs> the mission becomes hunting down the synth and finding out who is the synth. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Hmm. Care about care them. About them. I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is, our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. You're not going to convince me you're right. <laughs> I don't want to anger them, though. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes that you'd be an asset to us, seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers. You couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, hmm. from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. Cool. I'll do my best, I'll to, do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. <laughs> yeah. Um, the only context I'd seen Elder Maxon in is when I came up here and blew this thing to bits. <laughs> uh, yeah. Being in the Institute, you know, yeah, I had to deal with the other factions that, that uh, threatened. Gonna try to filter it out. 
uh, that threatened the Institute's plans. I had, to, I had to deal with them. So I had to come up onto the Pridwin, murder everyone. And then I think, do we destroy the whole Pridwin? Does the Pridwin... I think it actually gets... I think you actually shoot it out of the sky, basically. Don't you turn one of the... Congratulations I on have that promotion, feeling. Knight. Oh, thank you. Good. Carry on, Knight. Hail, Knight. <laughs> Yay. The human looking synths are the worst. They hide in plain sight. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't agree with the, the morals of this side. That's why I... I mean, I don't agree with the Institute side either. The, the, the side that I most agree so with is the Railroad. For whatever reason, I've just never sided with them. I think because when I first played this game, my idea was that I was going to be... I role-played as... I was playing Nora, but I called her Violet. Uh, Violet Anderson. And so I was called Miss Anderson by... Uh, <laughs> by, by, by robot. The duty uh, shift was long, but, but I'm glad we're making a difference here. <laughs> The, I role-played as, you know, the mother who would do anything for her son. And for those reasons, which I won't talk too much about, I sided with the Institute. Uh, despite how, how I was... I had been going along the lines of the railroad, but then I ended up going with the Institute. So I, I, I knew the railroad and I knew the Institute. And so killing the railroad was really rough. But killing the pallet, killing the Brotherhood of Steel, I had no problems with because I'd never even done anything with them. Dance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon seems young compared to everyone else. Are you okay with that? I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. He's a very dedicated man. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I see. Why would you be willing to... Yeah, so what's all this about you being my sponsor? I won't let you down, I won't dance. let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. I've already worn suit In order suit to power be an armor. effective part <laughs> of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Mm. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Alright. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Oh, I have to send Dogmeat home. Okay. <laughs> uh, go back to Sanctuary Hills. Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you the do Institute that. will face his wrath. There's a wealth of technology just waiting to be discovered out here. Oh, because he's now my companion, so I, you can only have one companion at a time. Yep, I see. It, because it's not specifically for a mission, it's like... When it like, comes to keeping yeah. the Pridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Okay, so I have to go around and meet the people, and I bring Paladin Dance with me. Yeah, so we're inside the freaking blimp. It's using these, whatever these are, as uh, the way it floats. Alright, who's this? Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. He's a medic. Are you ready for your medical exam? Uh, sure. 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 Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? Check your records, Doc. I'm not from around here. <laughs> Check your records, Doc. I'm not from around here. There wasn't that much radiation <laughs> around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? <laughs> Wait, what? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier wearing a vault than suit. anyone else aboard. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Of course. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Um... Never been seriously sick in Never my life. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered wow. non-human? What? <laughs> well, this is really... There was this one really ugly girl in college. <laughs> oh my god, that's so rude. Uh, yeah. no. Never have. Very well. Last question. <laughs> Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? 
If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. <laughs> mm. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. That's more of like a psychological... I see psychological... no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you Wonderful. ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Mm. <laughs> it's weird having... <laughs> oh, it's a cat in here? Oh, I can't pet the cat. Finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. The books? Uh, I think you're confusing me with someone else. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. <laughs> Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Quinlan. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew. You were next on my list. Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. <laughs> However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. <laughs> if you want my help, just ask already. <laughs> uh, maybe I can lend you a hand. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts, mm. anything containing useful technical data. Yeah. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Yeah. So, yeah, he wants me to collect technical documents. So now if I find any technical documents around, I can, uh pick them up and oh actually oh play damn it scribe i told Please, you i didn't want the corners bent the issues were to be in mint condition i'm sorry proctor done. but this is the only limited edition annual we recovered even before the bombs fell this was the rarest issue the one where grognak dies and comes back to life yes scribe <laughs> i'm collecting grognak the barbarian the lane price guide from cover to cover so I'm well aware of its past value. The fault for this travesty rests squarely on your shoulders because you chose to ignore the important lesson I taught you. Which is? Always bag and board. I'm sorry, sir. You're absolutely right. And I promise it will never... Um, sir? What's mm -hmm. that red blinking light on your terminal? What? Oh, damn it all. I left it in record mode. <laughs> Just let me... <laughs> nice. Is there a thing about this guy in here? Take the pack. Don't mind if I do. Here we are. Here we are. I thought there'd be probably one in Medical each room. Report. Knight Captain Cade reporting. I've been working closely with Scribe Naraya, examining some of the synth bodies that our recon teams have recovered. Even though we have yet to recover the synths that appear completely human, these lesser models are still astoundingly advanced. Mm. What's becoming apparent is that the Institute is the most technologically gifted enemy we've ever encountered, and therefore exceedingly dangerous. Yeah. I've turned over all of my data to Lancer Captain Kells, along with my recommendations for developing effective countermeasures for these synths. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much it will help, given the fact that the real enemy are the synths that could be hiding among us. Hmm. <laughs> I happen to know a little bit <laughs> about the situation. What's the interesting though is that they're so afraid of the synths, but they don't really have anything to be from Institute alone afraid of. Nothing. It sounds like a suicide mission. I'm supposed mission to report to me. ten minutes ago. If you can't fix it, I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. Oh my god. Yeah. Have Got you ever it. fired a minigun? There it is. I have. Like paper. Thanks, brother. Alright, let's just I talk also, straight to Proctor and Grant. I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. Uh sounds like you're disappointed. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram. 
And this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. Hmm. If your power armor is like in the crotch, shield if maiden. one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Hmm. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell. I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. <laughs> mm. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around. Actually, well. you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power. Is she like armor. crippled or something? There's a pretty decent T60 suit sitting in bay three. I actually already have yours. one. <laughs> the left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need yeah. any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. Yeah, it's interesting because, um... Oh, she's missing a leg. That's what the deal is. Oh, she's just missing both her legs. Oh. Okay, let's see if I can find a, a, a tape. That might have some more information about her. I never liked having squires aboard the warship, but Maxon thinks they need to train under fire. Oh, there's a little area down there that's cool looking. Yeah, this is all new to me. I've never seen this place before. Like this part of the ship. I've seen the um. Power armor well, and it can get you through anything. <laughs> I've seen other parts of the ship, but not this part. She's bound to have a tape somewhere, but I can't see it. And Never it glows, forget. so... You are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it immediately. We live in enemy territory now. Your vigilance could mean the difference between life and death. Understood? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Good. Ad Victorium, Squires. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium. Wait, are those kids? Is it like a classroom? Yeah. I think that's why, um, like, Dance himself said he didn't- he doesn't actually like having the- he doesn't like the idea of having those kids here and, you know, <laughs> in such a dangerous place, but, uh, Elder Maxon's like, nah, they need to learn. <laughs> so, hmm. You can tell there's- even amongst the, like, I'm most loyal people- Elder Maxon. I had enough more in his foolish ways. Even the, oh, Elder Lyons was the was the um, previous one. So yeah, this guy was just talking about Lyons and his foolish ways. Yeah, because Lyons was the original. Yeah. All right, Proctor Teagan. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. <laughs> Looks uncomfortable. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. <clears throat> now, this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed. I'm the ship's quartermaster, mm. Proctor Teagan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. Right. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Hmm, cool. Uh, <laughs> buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? <laughs> That's good That's to know. good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. <laughs> When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Right. I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Right. I could use some, I extra, could caps. Use some extra caps. <laughs> you need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. <laughs> yeah. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. Interacting. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. Right. In yeah. the meantime, if I was gonna you say, ever I don't need actually want anything mission. else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Hmm. Yeah, I'll buy from him in the future, instead of, uh, Diamond City. Yeah, I can't actually get in there. I have to, like, master unlock this, or master unlock this, you know, one of those two. <coughs> Alrighty, well, we've met everyone. I might end up using Dance from now lived. on as my... Until you've tipped a Brahmin. 
with a vertebrae. Now that's a challenge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's just see what the next part of this is. Show no mercy. Hmm. I take every barrel, beauty, and sin and shoot them into space. Tighten up the meter. <laughs> like that. Now split the difference. There. And now half. You wanna do it? Yeah. So. I was trying to make my character pretty agreeable, generally, but uh, it's going to be hard now that if I... I'm probably not going to have Dance with me all the time because he's very much hardcore in his views, in his ways, so... Uh, now that you've familiarized yeah. yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? While I'm doing stuff for the Brother of Steel, I'll keep my... I'll keep myself pretty uh, in their good books, but when I'm by myself, I'll, I'm going to allow Sense to go, you know? Uh, yes, Elder. Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close <laughs> enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make mm. matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot mm -hmm. allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrae on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Ooh, a vertebrate. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. So wait, this am I going to be shooting from the vertebrae? <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. That's awesome. Or are we just flying to the location and we're gonna fight once we arrive? Having yeah, I think. Win above the airport keeps the brotherhood within striking distance of the city hmm yeah let's just check the map let's just check the map wait did I did I do that wrong I think I went into the wrong vertebrae so I was did I <laughs> wait 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 it might just be on the ground out here yeah this is the old airport Yeah, okay, yeah, there's a gunship down here. Okay, good, good. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I get into the wrong freaking vertebrate? Right, there we go. Yeah, so the vertebrate I went in was the one that takes you down, up and down from the Fredwin. Yeah, I guess this mission's just gonna be like a rail shooter. <laughs> it's just, we sit in the freaking vertebrate and just gun down the enemy. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I've never seen the, the Commonwealth from this perspective. Each faction has a different way of handling, or a different way of treating synths. And the whole game, this, the, the, all of the motives in this game are all based around... Are all based Start around... Um, I'll try and keep them in your sights. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's all based around... Uh, oh god. Oh, it's a behemoth. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, look at the big guy. I didn't see him. I've lost him. There he is. Oh, he's, oh, I was firing at the wrong thing. Okay, one more round, one more round. There we go. Yeah. Primary target down. Look at that thing, please. I'm gonna find a place to set her down and then hightail it back to the Fridwin for repairs. Wait, 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 before you go, before you go, there's another enemy somewhere on. There he is. 
fait. Oh god. Do I have to get out? I don't want to get out. I like min having a minigun. Oh god. Uh, okay, just get out. <laughs> Shit. Dance, where are you? I thought I had Paladin dance with me. <laughs> I thought I had other friggin' Brother to Steel guys with me. Stop! Human is friend. <laughs> I forget that I can do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should have freaking brought some power armor. I was dumb. Oh, there's dance. Wonderful. Stop. They're actually not as strong as I thought they were gonna be. I think I've grown in my strength. Oh my god, I've been playing Minecraft, and I keep forgetting that like control and shift are the wrong way around. Crouch and run. Crouch and sprint. I like the wrong way around. <laughs> uh. Oh god, I've been getting reds. Uh. Okay, let's just go around and loot. Oh, the behemoth, I forgot about him. Fusion cell, shotgun, pistol, like, bullets. Flamer fuel, ooh. Oh, we had a flamer. Oh, shit. It's not particularly powerful. But, uh... <laughs> awesome. Oh, it has, like, no fuel. Uh, let's just go back to our normal weapons. Okay. Oh, dear. I really do wish I had my power armor on me. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Yeah, I agree. Only thing is, um... Like, if I had my power armor on me... <laughs> should I... Oh, I can actually level up. I <laughs> didn't notice. Um, straight away, I'm getting the freaking locksmith thing. Locksmith one, so I can do advanced pick locks. All right. I'm really quickly. Oh, but I don't want to waste my fusion cores. Never mind. <laughs> I'll just get ra irradiated. That'll greatly improve my uh, ability to withstand the radiation. Yeah, if only I had. Like, I'm very, very tempted to get a mod that allows you to get, like, an infinite fusion core, or, like, get better fusion cores that last longer. Um, just because that would make being, like, a, a Brotherhood of Steel knight way better. <laughs> okay, let's head to the fort. I didn't find anything useful in my search, but I didn't search particularly thoroughly. So, uh, there might have been useful stuff there, but oh well. I really like the sky in... Fallout 4. The, like, horizon sometimes is a little weird. It, like, warps around, but the, like, the lighting and stuff on the clouds uh, looks great. <laughs> Alright. Get straight through the main door. That sound! What is it? Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris here. Okay. Uh, it was nothing. I hear something. Someone there! Keep I think they're hearing God. dance. Whoever or whatever created this mess. Yeah. Whoever or whatever. It's clearly super mutants. <laughs> My God. Be around. I can hear you. Stop. Human is friend. Oh god, I'm completely out of ammo. Stop! Human is friend. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Stay right there. Ooh. Stop! 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 Human is friend. <laughs> I up two of them. Oh, sorry, one of them. Red X is one off. Oh 
Oh god, thank you. Yeah, Paladin Dance likes seeing you kill super mutants and do stuff like that and, and generally be bad towards synths and super mutants and, and ghouls. But he, and he dislikes it if you treat them nicely. So I was, I was hoping that he wouldn't get annoyed by, by me uh, pacifying, but it doesn't seem he does. Uh, but he also doesn't seem to have any like direct, like when you're just fighting, effect uh, of like if you kill super mutants. It doesn't specifically. It's only when you're like talking to them in like dialogue situations, specific scenarios. Like if we if we freed, um, is his name Strong, the super mutant who is like a good guy. Uh, if you free him, Paladin Dance is like, ugh, don't like that. Maybe Ooh, technical this document. This place may appear abandoned, but that doesn't mean... <laughs> don't keep interrupting him. Sweet. Drop our guard. Hmm. Agreed. Alright, um... Oh, Covert Excellent. Operations Manual. Uh, permanently more difficult to detect. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Learned some interesting tactics. Oh, pulse mine. No, I took the wrong thing. Damn it. Oh well. <laughs> Mini nuke. Fort Strong Key. There we go. This area's obviously been abandoned for quite some time. Uh, let's go to the terminal and see if we can do anything in here. Um, oh, so this is a... So yeah, these are just in informations about... <laughs> this is right before the war. Right before the, the bombs dropped. Uh, this is a, yeah, talking about the, um, what they're doing here. Yeah, so they were developing, like, launchers, nuke launchers, and this island is sitting on top of a huge stash of nuclear arsenal uh, that they're using for testing and for production and sending out. Oh, there's an elevator here. Is that where we have to go? I don't have anything on my on my map. Secure the armory. Okay, let's this call this elevator. This area seems to be in disarray. I wonder if this is recent. Hmm. There's no real way to know. Oh. He, d he disappeared briefly. <laughs> but he actually got into the elevator this time. Unlike previous times where he just would stand outside the elevator. <laughs> and he's not wearing his helmet. He normally wears his helmet. Well, he did in the previous mission. Uh... Yeah, that's what super mutants do to humans. <laughs> so, I'm not really opposed to killing them. It's just that if there's a one that's good, or, you know, one that proves that it's... Like Virgil, for instance. He's a super mutant. <laughs> but he's... a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Hmm. Uh, I think you must just say that about any old trash. Any old place that you're in. Not specifically for, like, the area outside, for instance. Yeah, Virgil's like fully cognizant, so you know it's unnecessary to kill him because he's not actively trying to slaughter everyone. Wait, what? Why is there a toilet here with purified water in it? Why is it labeled purified water with a little plant next? What is happening? Okay, let's not go through the main room. Let's go through the side room. Oh, it just leads out into the main room anyway. I wish a buckethead would show up. I'd rip his legs clean off. <laughs> I'm gonna use this machine gun really quick. I can see a super mutant down there. Oh, is that a mutt? Yeah, mutant hound. Oh, more rads. Someone there? Don't move. It's all right. Where is he? I've made the mutt not move. I hear something. I can hear you. Who's there? Who's there? Whatever this thing was, it's been totally torn to pieces. That's a straight to hell with you. Stop. Human is friend. I just do that to get a slight edge in the combat. Just like uh. What is 
<laughs> as long as you're crouching, you pretty much can get away with whatever. Don't leave anything behind. Tricks on me again. <laughs> Judging from the amount of dust present, it's safe to assume we're the first people to investigate this location in quite a while. But there are mutants. <laughs> there are super mutants actively moving around in here. You can't say that. It couldn't possibly be true. Okay, so this thing in the middle here is outputting radiation. Now, now. It's okay. Ouch. You hear that? Yes. Do you? Stop! Human is friend. Oh god. Don't kill me. What did I just say? <laughs> I, said, I specifically said don't kill me. <laughs> Be calm. Obey. I don't think we're alone. Damn it, it didn't work this time. Oh god. Where is he? Stop right there! Hold up. I think we're being stalked. Stop! Human is friend. <laughs> God damn it. I was like, I want to get, I specifically wanted to get the guy with the rocket launcher. I was like, if I can pacify him, this battle will be a million times easier. Nope. <laughs> Fucking dance. Stop right there. <laughs> Trying to pacify them while, while actively shooting them. Stop. Human is friend. Thank you, Dance, for being so aggressive when you're firing. Oh, he mutated. Basically, it's just an excuse to give him full health again. I, I hate. Oh. There we go. Jules, it's meat hook. <laughs> nice. Anything. Remain vigilant. This place may appear a Stop right there. You hear that? Over there. Get him. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Look he came to us. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Oh yeah. Like, that's the thing. <laughs> I have no qualms about killing super mutants. <laughs> Except in the context that it sounds like we could actually cure them. Uh, well, the ones, at least the ones that are still okay in the brain, you know. If we can cure them, then uh, that's more people, you know, more surviving people that can form more of the colonies of Earth. <laughs> oh, another technical document. Wonderful. Bravo team testing terminal. Ah, oh, they're just reports. Yes, yeah, so they talking about the M42. I'm not really reading much about it, but, um, oh, another technical document. <laughs> it seems like they've just littered all the chests with technical documents, so you can now just find them. Yeah, see, they're just technical document. <laughs> oh my god. Every other chest now just has a technical document in it. Uh, and we can bring it to that guy for extra caps. Oh, a safe. It's only a novice though, so we can actually easily get into it. Technical document. <laughs> uh, oh, mini nukes. Ooh. Oh, a ton of mini nukes, but like all deconstructed. No doubt the storeroom is just full of, yeah, each one of these little things. This little green, this is environmental storytelling. This little green box is full of mini nukes. It's got at least four in it. This room is full of those green boxes. <laughs> so wait, what's, that, what's the mission actually currently? I've noticed that Dance is not um, talking to me anymore. Speak to Paladin Dance. He's no longer my companion. I wonder if I could have taken dog meat with me then. All right. What do you got to say? Look at this place. You must hate oh, these mutants as much as I do. I didn't realize that was part of the conversation. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend. 
a Brotherhood Knight named Cutler. So when mm. you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly <laughs> taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what mm. these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the Knowing synths what I would know. do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Oh, good thing since bring out destruction. Um, don't apologize. It reminds me of why don't I'm doing apologize. this. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. Mm. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Alrighty. So is he no, he's no longer our With companion. The brotherhood behind us. No. We'll never fall. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, that's the end of that mission. Uh, we'll head up to the surface. <laughs> this is what happens when there's like an error in something where it's just trying to look up a model and some text to tell you. And there's something goes wrong. <laughs> he like catches that wrong thing. Look up failed. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll leave this here. So I'm well and truly indoctrinated into the uh, Brotherhood of Steel now. <laughs> We've uh, gotten familiar with the Pridwin and with uh, Elder Maxon and the and all the the formations and and people amongst the the you know the important people amongst the Brotherhood of Steel. All that's left is to do their missions. The reason I'm doing their missions, by the way, is because you have to be sided with one side, or you have to. I mean, technically you don't. You can just use the Minutemen. Because I wanted to do the Brotherhood of Steel, it's the next couple of missions that really decides how the rest of the game will go. So I want to do the Brotherhood of Steel stuff to get up to the point where I can utilize them in, an, in a crucial mission. And then from there, it's Brotherhood of Steel all the way sort of thing. Because once you, once you get sort of like to that point, it's, it's like sort of like 75% of the game is leading up to this point. And then from that point, it's like a branch like that, uh, where depending on who you side with, depends on how the sort of final outcomes of the of the game go. Sort of like the the proper proper branch happens at like the ninety percent mark or eighty five percent mark, but there is a branching section that happens around the like seventy five, sixty to seventy five percent mark uh, <laughs> of the game. So I'm trying to go Brotherhood of Steel. So I thought we do the missions now while we can. And then uh, hopefully I can use the Brother of Steel to do those missions and then keep going with the Brother of Steel right through the end. But yeah, whatever the case, enough rambling. If you like what you saw, hit like. <laughs> if you want to see more from me, then subscribe. I think we've still got a little bit more to go, a fair bit more to go before we get to the sort of juicy stuff. I say juicy, it's the really rough stuff actually. The really hard stuff because it's going and killing people that are actually good people, but because they don't align with your views, you have to kill them. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.